Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, looking forward to getting back home to U.S. Bank Stadium after being on the road a couple weeks. Nothing better than our home fans. You know, we really appreciate them. Um, you know, the one thing that comes to my mind is this team. You know, I'd like to talk about the defense, but it's how this team keeps coming up with timing plays and supporting all phases, whether it's kicking, offense, defense. Uh, from a defensive standpoint, uh, our players have bought into attacking the ball and getting the ball. And when you have a high-powered offense like ours, good things are going to happen when you get them the ball. Um, we have a great challenge this week. You know, we're playing a talented team. They're well coached. They got good players in the run game, in the pass game, and, and, and a top caliber quarterback. So, uh, preparation will be very important this week. Ed, we, we talked a lot this past year about how you like the players depending on each other and trusting each other. But it also seems in crucial moments, like when um, the fumble at the goal line, they don't panic in those moments either. Just hearing Harry and EK talk about how it transpired before Eric fell on the ball, it wasn't a panic situation. It was more of a relaxed in that crucial moment. Yeah. How that, rare is that? You know, that's what you're trying to uh, create as a coach, trying to create an environment where people can play focused and calm in all situations. And because it was, usually it would be a kneel down, it was out on the 15 and it's a sportsman type play. But when it's sitting on the six inch line, you know, you have a play and we had a play dialed up and then Harrison Phillips actually, you know, stunted, you know, to make the, the, the play work and cause confusion. But, um, you know, Harry and Eric, they're calm by nature. And our coaching staff is calm, and we're calm and focused, and you put it together, um, it's a pretty good combination. So it's having those kind of places, uh, those kind of players. Uh, this this sideline is, I keep talking to you about it, but it's unusual when the big moments ha happen and the self-talk of our players. You know, Pat Peterson, we're down 14 points. Hey, we're winning this game. We're winning this game. Okay, you know. I'm on board with you, and uh, and that's the way we, we look at things. You know, we're, we're never out. When you have an offense that can score points quick, just give them the ball, you know, and some good things can happen. Yeah, I think uh, Eric Kendricks talked about how he said Harry called the check uh, for that quarterback sneak on Sunday. Did, was it Harrison Phillips or Harrison Smith that saw they were checking to a sneak there? Yeah, I think both of them. You know, if you're a nose, you're going to see it. But he, he had – the quick movement, and here comes Harry. And, you know, it's it's really, you know, a lot of players being competitive at a big moment is, is all it is. So they, they did it together. Um, you know, as a coach, you know, that exemplifies what you're trying to say. We always say we'll defend a blade of grass if you give us a chance. And here we are, you know, and, and uh, you know, you'll, you'll never forget that what transpired there. You know, with them stopping us and, and us getting it back right there and, and just a cool thing. And then, you know, you go to, you know, you know we, they have 30-some seconds left and they have a tremendous performance and they get a field goal. You know, we're playing top people and, and they, they outplayed us there. And then you have to have that, that resolve to come back and play overtime. And that's what our team did. And that, that, that was pretty awesome. What did you think of the play Duke Shelley made in the end zone? Yeah. I love it, you know, and... Um, I was asked a question like that yesterday, and, and you know, when, when guys make plays in those moments, there's things that happen before that. You know, he, he's met extra with coaches uh, because he hasn't been up on the roster, you know, every week, and uh, his preparation, and that you know, just came out there. But to see a guy be calm and come down with that play, you know, it's just a, a credit to, you know, the culture that, that Kevin's built here. <clears throat> What can younger corners learn from Peterson on those two interceptions? Like, it seemed like he was patient and read Allen instead of just going with the play. Uh, can you repeat that, please? Patrick Peterson's two interceptions, what could young corners learn from how he yeah. read Allen? Uh, you know, what can we learn from Pat Peterson? You know, really everything. Just watch him. You know, he's a wily vet, and it's really how he conducts himself through the process of a week. And he's a guy that's always talking to whoever's in there. You know, and they work as a pair. So uh, yeah, there's a lot to learn. And I know guys look up to them, so that's very powerful. Yeah, just kind of talk about, I mean, obviously, Dead Zedarius uh, has the nine and a half sacks. But just his presence, even when he's not getting a sack and the pressure he's putting on, how is that just kind of yeah. changing, changing things? And yeah. uh, Well, he's a happy-natured guy that just loves football. You know, this is a guy that probably played f football in the park because he just loves being out there on the grass. Uh, but he brings a roughneck 
attitude to, to our group. He's a disruptive player. Uh, guys feed off him. He's well liked. But uh, you know, one of the things that you add to his talent, he's a great teammate. You know, he's a great teammate. He's connected with this team in a beautiful fashion. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a great day.